why did you want these planted on, on your land? Well, I'm in the very lucky position of having about nine acres of, of, of pasture land. Um, I'm not a farmer. I'm very much involved in climate, the climate change movement and concerned about it. And for, my, for me, I would have as many trees as I possibly can. But you know, trees don't come cheap. So we've planted the odd one here and there. But when I found out about this charity, I thought that's just amazing, almost too good to be true. Uh, and that too good to be true has now turned into reality. And here we are today planting 1,700 trees. And I'm a very happy bunny. <laughs>other you know charity fundraising through carbon offsets yeah. so you know people will pay a subscription to offset their carbon footprint and they'll pay towards you know that char charity will give us funding to put trees in the ground which is what we're here today to do Excellent. um three pounds per tree but but the catch is we have to take a photo gps coordinates of the you know the location the species um, and who planted it, all of that sort of thing, and track them and, and come back over the you know, future years to make sure they're doing okay, okay. And, they're, and they're well established. We've got a normal shovel, spade, chuck it in. You can do forwards and back and then slide it in sometimes, but the ground's a little tough today. So instead what you can do is make a T, you lever that up, this is a bad spade, but it's going to fall apart. So you make the tea and then you can lever it up and plop the tree in through the gap there and again get it down. Uh, one of the most important things about planting the tree is to make sure that you don't have any air gaps around the roots because that will fill with water and then freeze and the tree will die. So you can really stamp on it quite aggressively without killing the roots. Um, and that's about that. So first of all we make the hole and raise making it very big. And then he puts in the tree, then puts in the tree, and Christina's putting in the tree. <laughs> you then put the roots just just below the, the, the surface, and you tamp it down, like playing golf. A good tamp. And then... And in the end, you uh, put on the guard. Hi Jeff, what's got you involved today? Well, same as everyone, trying to save a bit of CO2. So hopefully these trees will, in a couple of years, be soaking up the CO2. We can uh, reduce the uh, heating of the environment. And also, yeah, it's great to see trees, isn't it? Yeah, for everything. Birds, wildlife. Okay, and how are you involved today, Pam? Well, we need trees to plant so our grandchildren will have much fresher air for living. And all these little trees that we plant put their nice little roots out, like our grandchildren, and join up with each other and play together, and the air will be much better for them to breathe. What are you trees involved in this? I, I think we just want to make uh, the world a better place for Willow uh, yeah. to grow up in. Uh, try and offset some of our carbon footprint yeah. um, and just generally plant more trees. We live in Stokesy so it's local to us as well so we yeah. thought come along on a lovely day get some fresh air show Willow what it's all about yeah um, yeah and just try and make a difference. He seems quite thrilled isn't it? Well I used to work with Caroline so it was a nice opportunity to come and help her out um, with planting the trees yeah 
uh, and it was turned out to be a nice day as well so it's uh, all, all win-win and, and you're quite quite concerned then about climate change um, I think it's good to plant trees yeah I think it's uh, it's important to make sure that the environment is uh, as, as good as it can be I wanted to because doing my little bit yeah. for conservation and I wanted my grandchildren to be able to come along this road and say my granny planted planted yeah. helped plant that that and I'm here because she made me come with her. <laughs> However, it's a lovely day, so it's uh, it's fine. <laughs> and it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> it's okay, isn't it? It's yeah, fine. It's yeah, absolutely yeah. fine, and it's doing that little bit. Yeah, so yeah. What's got you, you involved in this event? Well, uh, seemed like a good thing to do. A small bit to try and save the planet, I suppose. But yeah. it's great to have trees being planted instead of being uprooted all the time. And you're the, you're the only one I've seen who's gone down on his knees to actually put in these trees. Fantastic. Isn't yeah. It? Yeah. Well, I'm too stiff in the back to be able to bend in the middle. That's the problem. <laughs> How's it going, mate? Wonderful, mate. Yeah. I, 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 really I, I, enjoying it. I, enjoying it. A nice leisurely morning. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just get yes, this out yeah. from under my nose. Uh, you're, you're one of the few that's gone down on his knees to actually do, do this job. Sometimes have to. I couldn't stand up any longer. Yeah. What's brought you here today? Um, I am part of the family who of the who own the land, so I've come to, to lend a hand and help out. And, and you come all the way down from Manchester? Or uh, from? Yep, I've come up from Manchester. Yeah. yeah. And and uh, what, uh, what's your job then? Um, I'm an ecologist for a consultancy in Manchester. Yeah. Um, so we give a lot of advice when it comes to stuff like this, but it's quite nice to actually get out in the field and, and do the actual tree planting for once. <laughs> It's looking good. There's small groups now planted an awful lot of trees. A group of 16 of us has now been planting trees for the last hour and a half. It's starting to look good. Um, so my friend Andy helped set this up. He um, came up with the idea a couple of years ago and it suddenly sprung into action even with the pandemic happening and this is the first actual tree planting that I've been on and hope to be doing lots more but um, yes I really like doing outdoor things and volunteering is just a great way of spending time and uh, making up for the fact that I work for an oil and gas consultancy <laughs> and, and, and I think up till now in the first three hours you've planted around 480 trees sounds about right yeah we had a lot of volunteers um, it's been difficult to keep everyone spread out for covid safety but I think we've done okay um, I'm really grateful to everyone that's come out today. Um, we've already got um, so many trees planted. Um, About 480, I think. Yes, uh, so it totals uh, 1,650, I believe, to go in this weekend. Um, so we're just about to start work on the woodland section at the bottom. Um, so very, very appreciative of everyone that's come out to help this weekend. Um, and also we've got quite a few fundraisers on our website. We're currently raising money to buy our own land um, to carry on. Um, here today to help plant trees and um, really pleased to see all the volunteers that um, offered to come and help and we actually had to turn some people away because there were so many enthusiastic volunteers um, we were fortunate to hear about the offer from Protect Earth and shared that with Caroline one of our members who has some land and was able then to, to sort of say yes please come and provide us with some trees and show us where to plant them which trees to plant and how then to look after them um, we see this as part of the work of the Climate Action Group because obviously by planting trees we're sort of enabling the tree coverage to increase around the country and Friends of the Earth have a brilliant mapping tool where you can look and see the tree coverage at the moment and what potential there is and whilst in this area we've got a lot of um, farmland where we wouldn't want to plant trees it does make sense to create new hedgerows which is what's happening here with a shelter belt and a small woodland area which has a wide range of trees now being planted to provide a lot of more biodiversity in the area and also trees which um, might not necessarily you would expect in this area but in the future with, as climate changes they're 
hopefully will um, survive and also thrive in the area. Excellent. Yeah. One thing the Climate Action would, Group would like to say is that um, tree planting is not the only thing we should be doing. It's part of the jigsaw puzzle um, of sort of contacting politicians, alert, sort of raising the profile of the need to actually do something about the climate and nature emergency now rather than later. So locally, as well as tree planting, we're also working on energy, food, transport and waste, as well as contacting politicians.